After completing Grapevine, then go to this repository github.com bar tensorflow bar models. Just download this zip file. Click on download. I'll cancel. I have already downloaded this zip file, so I'll cancel. Extract this. Go to research, then open CMD here in the research folder. Under research, then type Python setup.py build b u i l d then python setup dot py install click enter then close this both you don't need it anymore after that come back to this folder then you have to delete these files you don't need it anymore so I'll delete this after this download these five files generate tf record label map dot pbtxt ssd underscore mobinet version 2 train dot py xml to csv dot py First, we need to make some changes in the generate tf record dot pipe. Just scroll below. I have two classes which are bike and car. So I'll change this. I, I don't want these other classes because I only have two classes. So I'll delete these lines. If you have more classes you can add L if row label equal to equal to some other I'll write here bike and here car okay. you can see here I have make I have made changes click save close this after making changes to tf record.py Open label map pbtxt. So you have to make like this item ID number one, which is bike for my item two, name is car. So make sure that please make sure that class one is bike here in the generate tf record. And also class 1 is bike in the label map dot pbtxt and class 2 is car and here also class 2 is car okay if you have more class just copy and paste here and change the ID number and, and the class name whatever you have I don't need this so I'll delete this I'll save like this only click save and here also click save and close this after that open SSD mobile p2 in this file you have to make two changes which is in line number 9 I have two classes here so I'll type here 2 and go to line number 181 number of examples which is thousand here but we need to go to the test folder click on images click on test click on view here upside and click detail and sort by type select all the jpg images
shift and click now you can see there are 163 jpg images so go to this file and change in the line 181 type 163 click on save these two are the changes which we have to make in SST mobile at v2 close this after making all the changes open CMD and type this first one I'll copy and paste run this file it will take some time after this open images folder and check if these two files are created open this and see if it is empty or filled you can see here all the images name and class is written and even open this and see the images name and class is written so after this next this download code. tensorflow which will be given in the description just paste it and click enter they should create train dot record it is here you can see and copy and copy this test dot record which will create test dot record and click enter you can see test dot record is created here close this so delete these files xml to csv.py and, and generate tf record.py delete these two create a folder called file and move all the files inside this you can see images label map ssd test dot record train dot record and train train dot pi all these files should be there inside file right click and I zip this next download tensorflow ipynb and upload this both file to the google drive this paste it outside only just upload it here after uploading it will come here file.zip tensorflow.ipynb right click on the tensorflow ipynb and open with google collaboratory if you don't have here then click on connect more apps search for collab click on this and click here install click on connect here click run run all if you are running second time then scroll below if you are running second time then run from here ok I'll click on run all just to show you guys
If you click on run all, it will run everything. No need to click one after the other. If you are running second time, then run from here. Just click on run one after the other one. This is the main training code to train the model. Just click on run here. It is starting to train here. You can see step 0. You can see step 1, step 2, step 3 likewise. Uh, do it till at least 30,000 for good detection and 50,000 steps for best detection. So guys, just continue these things. It will take at least 4 to 5 hours. You can see here, I have been training for 5 hours. I have trained till 26,773 steps. The backup is made here in the training folder which is in the object detection folder so, so just click on this model master then click on research then click on object detection then go below you can see open the training folder you can see here all the backup has been made here till 26724 so how to continue training if you stop it how to continue training so i'll stop this if you need to back up just stop it and click on this this will back up to the drive just click on that you can see it is backed up so just open the google drive and check so here is the training folder which we have done the backup you can scroll and check all the backup files 26724 so go back to this so what if you have lost all your train folder and you want to get it back just run this to get all the files which is, which is in the drive after backing up if you want to continue your training but you have your saved file in the google drive to get back that run this it will get back all the files from training folder it will put in this training folder again you can see it is transferring now after copying all the files you can click on train again to continue the training i'll stop this so after all this training you need to create intent file to create that you need to run this so check the tensorflow version which you have in your raspberry pi or in your laptop so just type here instead of x Type your TensorFlow version 1.14.0 or something else. So try to keep it below two version. Okay. Just run this. After that, to create inference graph, just scroll this side. Instead of this x x x x just see your last step you can see 26724 is my last step in the training folder so instead of this xxxx type this last saved step okay here then run this
can see here pipeline configs to pipe inference graph okay so just scroll up close the training folder and search for inference graph folder so this is your model this is your train model this frozen inference graph dot pb is your model and these are the data so we need to download this inference graph folder so to that I will back up to my Google Drive first this inference graph folder just click on this after it finishes just check your drive you can see here inference graph folder so you need to download this so right click and download just click on leave here it will start downloading I'll cancel this this is a very important file which we need in the next step so that's it for today guys thank you for watching